Hey everybody, I hope wherever you are in the world that you're healthy, happy, and safe, and I'm wishing you and your family um, a happy holiday season. So I wanna uh, quickly announce the upcoming campaign that The Good Project is about to launch. We invite you to partner with us and contribute to a project that is going to give back to the Yanomami people, help uh, promote and support programs in intercultural bilingual education, health uh, and medical programs, as well as very exciting research. And um, what makes me really happy about getting geared up for the next expedition is of course, more adventures, you know, more more stories, uh, more interaction with the Yanomami and, and, and living in the day and the life of a Yanomami. And of course, I'm really excited to see my mom and my family. Um, but when I come back from these expeditions, I am I am even more excited to to be able to share what I've learned just just being with my family in a, in a Yanomami Shabano, in a Yanomami village, and to share pictures and stories, adventures, um, and, and, you know, and of course, some of the bloopers of, of, of a suburban, you know, Pennsylvania uh, guy that lives here, but also trying to uh, survive in the Amazon rainforest. But of course, I am so lucky to have a Yanomami family to get me through these hard times. And every day that I spend, I feel I'm more more in tune with the environment, more connected with the Amazon. And and when I come back here to the United States and abroad, uh, I just feel that I have a very special special privilege to be able to share such experiences with you. So we invite you to you know partner with us and contribute to the project in ways that will benefit the Yanomami people and the Amazon rainforest. And one of them is 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 the is the health uh, and the health situations among the Yanomami. So obviously the Yanomami uh, have integrated and interacted with the outside world for, for a half a century now. And a lot of historically uh, um, diseases have been um, have been introduced to that area, like you know uh, measles and 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 you know tuberculosis and other conditions. So there's always a need for medical support. And then when the Good Project goes down there, you know we it's our responsibility to do whatever we can to support the existing Yanomami health programs. And that's what we're looking to do is to just help help become allies, help help partner with the with the people and the programs that exist down there. So we are going to do that by establishing and and, and installing a solar powered satellite communication system in the Mavaca area. This is really important. I mean, we're talking about um, a satellite system that allows us to be able to communicate directly with the Yanomami communities and to create uh, a link, you know, a, a trustworthy link and, and dialogue between the Yanomami leaders down there and the rest of the world. This is really important. We all know that one of the best ways and the most efficient ways to prevent the spread of disease is surveillance and quick response times. Well, you can't have that if you don't have reliable communication. In addition to that, uh, a lot of the um, Yanomami programs and projects, including the schools and the medical clinics, need to travel by river. And their main form of transportation is fluvial transportation by boat. We are going to bring down an all-electric outboard motor, the first of its kind. So by by introducing this kind of technology that's simple to use, easy to train, we can train the indigenous leaders and the Yanomami people and, and the local personnel to how to, how to use this. If we're going to utilize the technology to be able to carry out programs, then we should really focus on zero emissions. You know, we should focus on zero pollution, uh, decrease our dependency on fossil fuels like gasoline and oil, which are all things that are needed to run outboard motors, uh, two stroke and four stroke outboard motors. So let's 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 do this. Let's let's bring the best of our technology. Let's make history. You know, let's 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 really get together and and support the Yanomami in ways that are sustainable, eco-friendly. The other thing that we want to do is to continue supporting the intercultural and bilingual programs. So the Yanomami today are 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 at the are at the integration or the interface of of what's going on in the world and their traditional and ancestral way of life. And the Yanomami communities that are at the front lines of trying to protect the communities of the interior have a very big responsibility. You know, they're the ones that are, are negotiating with government personnel for economic policies and land demarcation. They're the ones that are at the front lines of being trained to be medics and understanding disease. And the reason being, the reason that they're so important is that the, the Yanomami communities of the interior, for example, where my family lives, they are so far and so remote that they are so vulnerable. Who better to protect them than the Yanomami that have had sustained integrated contact since the 1950s and they need our support. 
So it's very important that these programs um, are there in place because it's it's a human right. You know, indigenous people have it's a human right to have education, but we must be done in a way that is culturally sensitive. It integrates the two worlds. Um, it integrates traditional customs and beliefs. And this is exactly what's happening at the intercultural and bilingual Yanomami schools at the Mavaka um, uh, mission, as well as other places in the Upper Orinoco. So let's let's become their allies. Let's let's help them out. The other thing that we're going to do is exciting, exciting research among the Yanomami. The Yanomami people um, have been made quite famous from a, a 2015 paper uh, when, a, a, when a group of scientists had characterized the first time that they've characterized the Yanomami microbiome. And the microbiome, which is a collection of the organisms, microorganisms that live in and on you, are a big part of our health and wellness. And additionally, the Yanomami microbiome has, is one of the most diverse and robust microbiomes in the world. And what does that mean? Well, in our society here in the United States, we know that that having a dysbiotic or unbalanced microbiome leads to all kinds of uh, chronic inflammatory conditions like IBD, Crohn's disease, diabetes, asthma, allergies, food, uh, food, including food allergies, obesity. These are all the kinds of conditions that are ravaging through our worlds that do not exist in Yanomami society. So that is why we feel it's very important to study the Yanomami microbiome to to empower us, to give us more tools to protect them in the rainforest and also to benefit humanity at large. There's huge global implications for protecting and studying the Yanomami microbiome. Anyway, that in a nutshell is what the Good Project is about to embark on. And I ask you to contribute whatever you can. Um, every little bit helps to be able so that we can go down there and team up with our Yanomami partners and, and accomplish our goals and to ultimately, you know, be good, good partners to the Amazon rainforest and the Yanomami. Well, thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. And I am looking forward to a great campaign. Take care. Bye.